the Netherlands. The circuit right beside the sea is the next stop in the DTM calendar. This tricky track ranks as a traditional Audi circuit. Even though Gary Peffert managed to win here last season, Sandford has been dominated by Audi since 2006. In 2007 and 2008 they actually scored a quadruple win. Over the past few years, Sanford has been just perfect for us. Of course, our objective is to do well there again and get as many points as we can. We are going to have to work especially hard at being consistent. The Audi drivers are going to Sanford with great expectations, but with their good results from the first races and their lead in the overall rankings, the Mercedes-Benz drivers are feeling very positive about Holland as well. So far, Sanford's always been my worst circuit. This year, of course, I'm hoping I can change that a bit. Naturally, I'm hoping that we can continue the positive trend from the last two races. I've been waiting ages for a place on the podium, so let's hope that happens. I'm having to work on that. With our race performance, we certainly have a good chance of reaching it. Yeah, I like it. You know, it's uh, it's it's a very tight track and it's a very challenging circuit, but I, I like it a lot. There's quite a lot of uh, grip there. You can push the car very hard and, and I really enjoy it. There's a lot of fast corners which are good. Number two in the DTM driver rankings for 2010, Mercedes-Benz driver Jamie Green has already celebrated some great victories on this circuit by the sea. Yeah, it's a nice circuit, Zanvor. I won the Formula 3 championship there, uh, so I have good memories from, from Zanvor. Um, last year we had a tough time. We were quite heavy last year. And DTM newcomer Kon Fu Cheng, who has never yet driven at Sanford, has done his homework on the circuit. Uh, Dutch fan, pretty crazy about with motorsports. Also, I heard about it. So, no, I think pretty. I think it's very challenging uh, circuit and pretty bumpy, and uh, it's gonna be a great, a great event. Sanford in Holland, a highlight for fans and drivers alike. It's always something very special. I'm really looking forward to the atmosphere there. So from August the 20th to the 22nd, it will be DTM by the scene.